6.1 Introducing Ratios, page 335 of your textbooks. What is a ratio? Ratios shows the relationship between two or more related quantities or things. For example, what's the relationship between the number of teachers and the number of students in their classes? Remember that these quantities must be of the same type and in the same unit. We will now look at some examples of these ratios. And although it looks like a lot, it, I hope it will give you a better idea of what a ratio really is. Aspect ratio is the ratio of the width to the height of an image of a screen. The map scale is the relationship between distance on a map and the corresponding distance on the ground. For example, one unit on this map is the same as 250,000 of the same unit on the map. On this map of ours, one unit on the map is the same as 100,000. Please take some time and investigate this a little bit further, but we will do so in exercise 6.4. Cordial ratios is how many parts of cordial we use with how many parts of water. Student-teacher ratios is the number of students assigned to a teacher. Any recipe is just another ratio. It gives you the ratio of the different ingredients you need to make the certain number of things that you are hoping to make or bake at the end. A sporting success, goal ratios can be used. For example, to show how many of the attempts, what was the ratio of attempts against successful goals. Um, and in cases, for example, where we have the run rate required, is all ratios that refer to sport. Gear ratios can be used, for example, bicycles and fishing reels, where the ratio tells you what is the mechanical advantage one gets or gains by using the gears that is in the system. Chemical formulas are just more ratios. Here is a sugar molecule, and this molecule exists of 12 carbons, 22 hydrogens, and 11 oxygens. This will be the ratio of all sugar molecules. Concrete mixture. On the back, they give you the mixing ratio. The amount of stone to the amount of water to the amount of cement. Scale drawings, which is pretty much the same as the, those of a map, are used by builders um, on an everyday basis, where you'll have to have what is the scale on the map or on the blueprint, how does that relate, or what's the relationship between that and that of real life. Now that we have looked at some ratios, I really hope you understand what a ratio is. The next step is, how do we talk about ratios, or how do we use ratios, and how are we going to mathematically apply this um, in the rest of the chapter. Our first part is the actual reading and writing of ratios, and what does it mean? The colon is the mathematical symbol used to represent ratios. So the written ratio of A colon B is read as the ratio of A to B, or what is A to B? The order in which the quantities are written in a ratio is important. If the ratio of cordial is one part of cordial to four parts of water, you can't change the one and the four and then have four parts cordial to one part water. So as you can see, the order is really important. Before ratios can be written, the quantities must be expressed in the same unit. And we will look at examples soon. Example 1. Writing ratios. A sample of mixed nuts contain 5 cashews, 12 peanuts and 2 macadamia nuts. Write down the ratio of cashews, 5 cashews, 
2 colon 12 peanuts 2 colon macadamias which is 2 number b the ratio of cashews 5 2 colon the total number of nuts so what's the total number of nuts there's 5 cashews there's 12 peanuts and there's 2 macadamias which gives us a total of 19 so 5 to 19 what is the ratio in C of peanuts peanuts to colon the other nuts so in this case the other nuts will be 5 the others will be 5 cashews and 2 macadamias that will be 7 so the ratio will be 12 to 7 Our next topic is equivalent ratios. If each number in a ratio is multiplied or divided by the same amount, an equivalent ratio is formed. For example, 1 to 3 and 2 to 6 and 10 to 13 are all equivalent ratios. So you guys can see that the colon almost acts as an equal sign. However, unlike the equal sign, we can only multiply and divide by the same amount on different side or on both sides. Let's have a look. Example two: producing equivalent ratios. Complete each pair of equivalent ratios. A four to nine. Four to nine is the same as, and I would like you to write it underneath each other 16 now what we want to know is how can I get from 4 to 16 with only using multiplication and division once I figure that out I will also do it on the right hand side to get my equivalent ratio so 4 times 4 is 16 which means 9 times 4 is 36 so I can say that 16 to 36 is equivalent to 4 to 9. Number B, 30 to 15 is the same as something to 5. Same thing. How do I get from 15 to 5? Do the same to 30 to find the equivalent fraction. So to get from 15 to 5, and you're only using multiplication or division, I divide by 3, which means I will divide this side by 3 as well, and 3 divided by 3 is 10. So we can say that 10 to 5 is equivalent to 30 to 15. Now that you've seen the theory, I would like you to go to your textbook and do the following questions. Please remember that you do mark your questions as you progress. And in this way, we will be quickly picking up any errors that you have. Good luck.